Hello everyone and welcome to our contemporary math lesson on 11.3. Today we're talking about compound interest. So compound interest means earning interest on interest. So every time the simple interest formula is calculated, your principal goes up. The next time the formula is calculated, the amount of interest earned is going to be greater. Here's how it works. So watch what happens if you invest $1,000 at 4% interest compounded monthly. So in month one, we can use the simple interest formula, I equals PRT, to find out how much interest we would earn. So we would just do 1,000 times 0.04 times 1 over 12, because we're doing one month out of the 12 in a year. And so that gives us an interest amount of $3.33. Now because this is compounded monthly, in the second month, month two, we can calculate the interest using simple interest again. However, we've now added the $3.33 to our original $1,000. So the principal is now $1,003.33. And we multiply by the rate and the time. And notice now the interest in month two is $3.34. It's one penny higher, even though the original amount invested was the same. Now this would continue on in month three. So we add the 334 to the 1,333. And so now our principal balance is 1,006 and 67 cents. And so you can see our interest is even greater now, $3.36. So as we keep compounding, here's month four, we can see we make more and more every time. So compound interest is really doing the simple interest formula multiple times, but adding in the interest at each interval. So here is your compound interest formula. There's actually a formula that will calculate this out rather than doing the simple interest formula every time. So the way this formula works, A right here is the amount to which your money will grow. Okay, So that's really your principal plus your interest. Now P right here is the original principal that you invest. Okay, Sometimes this is also called the present value or PV. And then it's going to be times 1 plus R over N. R is going to be your interest rate. And remember, you always want to change this to a decimal. N is the number of periods per year. So we're going to talk about that if it's compounded daily, uh, monthly, or annually. You can determine what N is going to be. And then this is all going to be raised to the power of N times T. So that number of periods in a year times the amount of time. Okay, Usually in years. Now this right here doesn't actually give you any interest. Okay, So if you want to actually find out how much interest you earned, you're going to have to take the amount that your balance grew to, subtract your original amount to get your interest there. Now if you want to find n, which is the number of periods per year, we can think about it this way. If something is compounded annually, that means it's compounded once per year. So n would equal 1. If you have compounding monthly, that means every month it compounds, meaning there are 12 compounds in a year. If you're compounding quarterly, that means there are four periods per year, because there's four quarters in a year. If you're compounding daily, we're going to say there are 360 days in a year. Okay, another one you might see is something called semi-annually, and that means there are two periods in the year. All right, so let's go ahead and use our compound interest formula here to uh, compute the total amount and the interest earned. So we're going to be looking for two things here. We're looking for the A as well as the I. And remember, the interest earned is going to be the amount that your money grows to minus the amount that you invested. Okay, So if we have $4,000, we're investing this for two years at 4% compounded annually. 
So here, our original amount is going to be 4,000. Okay, and then we're going to be times 1 plus our rate, we're going to change that to a decimal, so 0 0.04 over n, the number of compounds per year. So annually is 1 compound per year. And this is all raised to the power of n times t. So n again was 1 and then times time, which was two years. So one times two. So this is how you would write out your formula. If you want to type this into your calculator though, you're going to have to type it in a little bit differently. So you're going to have to type in 4,000 times one plus 0 0.04 and then divided by one, close your parentheses. To get an exponent, you're going to use a caret then you're going to actually open up a parentheses here and then go 1 times 2 and then close your parentheses. Okay, so this is what it needs to look like when you enter it into your graphing calculator. Okay, so we come up with a total of 4,326 dollars and 40 cents. Now this is the amount that your $4,000 has grown to in the time of two years. So how much interest do we have left? Well, to find our interest, we're going to take that amount, 4326.40, and we're going to subtract our original amount invested of $4,000, and that is going to give us an interest of $326 and 40 cents. Okay, let's try number two. Here we have $7,000 for three years at 12% compounded monthly. So when I write this out, I'm just going to start writing it out like I type it into my calculator. So we have our $7,000 times 1 plus our rate, 0.12, divided by the number of compounds per year. So monthly equates to 12. And this is going to be raised to the power of n times t. So n was 12, and then this is going to be for three years. Okay, so let's go ahead and type this into our calculator. And we come out with 10,015 dollars and 38 cents. So that is what our bank account is now at. So how much of that is interest? Well, the interest is going to be that 10,015.38 minus 7,000, which is $3,015 and 38 cents. All right, I want you to give the next two a try on your own. Go ahead and pause the video and then come on back when you're done to check your work. All right, welcome back for number three. Your amount should have grown to 2,533 and 54 cents. And your interest should have been $533 and 54 cents. And for number four, one tricky thing here is if you're doing 18 months, you need to change that into years. So you could either do 18 over 12, or you could have done 1.5 right there. And here's your total amount, $5,387.32. And your interest, $887.32. So that's how to use the compound interest formula to find the total amount and the interest earned. All right, next I want you to try uh, number five on your own, and it's just a little word problem. See if you can uh, figure out what you need to do to find the value of the account, and then uh, under the two different circumstances here. So go ahead and try that out, bring your answers to class, and we'll go over it then.